Hi everyone, Jo Watson here. For those of you who don't know me, I'm the author of uh, the Destination Love series. The first book, Burning Moon, came out, and now it's time for the second book to come out, Almost a Bride. So my publisher asked me to do one of these videos, sort of introducing my book again, and it's always a little awkward for me because it kind of means I've actually got to do my hair and makeup. Uh, so I went onto YouTube this morning and like looked at one of those YouTube hair tutorials where this chick like does this plait and like wraps it around her head and goes from like normal woman to like sexy milkmaid in like five seconds. Sort of gave up halfway. You've, I think, I mean, you've got to be a professional to actually follow those YouTube tutorials. So here I am and um, almost a bride. It's coming out on the 31st of January, by the way, and I just want to thank everyone firstly for buying Burning Moon and reading Burning Moon because in the UK it got to number six in its category, which is pretty awesome, so thank you for that. And I, um, the idea for oh, Mr. Bride actually came from like a personal sort of thought that I had. Um, it's set on Mar in Mauritius, which is this beautiful tropical little island off South Africa, and I went there a couple of years ago with my husband and my son, and my son was about one years old. And um, I kind of got off the plane and I thought, oh, this looks, you know, a little bit familiar because the last time I was there in Mauritius was with my ex. And I thought, oh, God, wouldn't it be so awkward if I bumped into my ex here with my husband and stuff? And I thought, oh, my God, wouldn't even, uh, it would be worse if they were staying at the same resort, you know. So that was sort of the idea for um, Almost a Bride. And um, poor Annie, who's the main character of the story, um, it sort of starts when Annie thinks she's going to be proposed to by the man of her dreams and she actually comes home early that day from work and walks in on him screwing his co-worker, like kinky sex, like nipple clamps and whatnot. And she's obviously devastated and on the same day she actually gets arrested and she loses her job so she has a really, really shit time. And then she sort of goes on holiday to Mauritius thinking she's going to have this amazing time, a little awesome escape, get her mind off things, only to bump into her ex and this new hot woman who's like 10 sizes smaller than her at the same resort. So what she does, so she doesn't look like a sad, pathetic, lonely ex, is she ropes this guy Chris into playing her pretend boyfriend. And that's sort of how the jumping point for the story, and that's how the story goes. And obviously it's a romance and it's a comedy, so they are going to fall in love. Spoiler alert, I know. So that's it, almost about it. It's coming out on the 31st of January. I, f I really enjoyed writing it, and I just really hope you guys love reading it as much as it looks like you love Burning Moon. So thank you. Have a good one. Bye.